Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to create an AWS EC2 instance using a Terraform. Um, before we begin, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For this demo, what we need is we need an AWS account and then Terraform has to be installed on your machine. So let's go to, uh, I have a personal repo. I'll posting all these links on my descriptions. So you can clone this, open a terminal. So for this demo, I'm going to use a personal folder. It's called as Terraform Easy2. So there is nothing on that folder. So let's go to that folder. If you see my left side, that's Terraform Easy2. So I'm going to do the git clone. Okay, so I cloned the project to my local machines. It has five chapters and for this demo we are going to open the chapter four so i'm going to open um this uh files in atom i do have an alias for atom so that's why you know as soon as i enter atom it just comes up in over there so all the Terraform files is have an extension called .tf and look at that AMI and then um, so there is an exception it happened to me so I was using a wrong AMI ID uh, with a different region so if you are using a proper region make sure that you have a proper AMI ID is configured so for this demo I am using US Easy 2 sorry US East 2 so I do have an AWS account. As I mentioned earlier, you need to have an AWS account for this demo. So we need to do a few things on our AWS account. You see that use is to EC2. So use US is to is to sorry. Um see I don't have any instance right now up there. So there is a new feature is added by AWS, it's called key pairs. You can create a new key pair. I'm going to call that as a Terraform demo. So I'll show you that where I will be using this name in the Terraform template in a second. So I download the PM files. So if you don't know, this is the PM file I can use to SSH into that machines. Okay. Now if you look at the line number. 83 it says terraform dash demo so this file name has to be matched with the uh, key name now i'm going to my security credentials you can click on your username on the top go to the security credentials i'm going to create a user for this demo because i need an access key and secret key to run this application So I'm going to create a user with the Terraform demo user. I'm going to attach some policies. So right now for this demo, I'm going to add that as an administrator user. On that. So if you want, you can add the, some tags for this particular user. Just put some names. This is not mandatory though. So you click on that next. Click on this, get review. So that is where you see an access key and secret key. So you need to copy the access key and go all the way in the top there is a section for access key be that and then copy the secret key paste that so now we can save this file <laughs> i'm going to open the ec2 dashboard so if you see that right now there is no EC2 instance are running it. So I do have one key pairs. So you can see that there is no instance is running right now. So I have one default security group. Let's call it the default security group. <laughs> So 
PC to dashboard. So you see that pretty much everything is zero and I do have a default VPC. Okay, so on this demo, I'm going to create a VPC also. You see that right now I do have VPC one, that's my default VPC and all my subnet information. Okay, so now let's go back to the template. So I'm going to use, um, you need to run a Terraform in it. Terraform INIT. And then you can run a Terraform plan on that file. You will see there's a warning it happens. Is, it's okay for now, it's fine. It will show you that you know plan four to add zero to change zero to destroy. That is important. So that will tell you like you know what are the inst what are the configuration changes is going to make it on my AWS account. Which means that I'm going to create a subnet. I'm going to create a security group, which will have like you know, a couple of ports open. This is eight zero eight zero and four four three, and I do open a twenty two also. Ingress, as you know, that ingress means inbound, egress is outbound. And this is finally an easy to instance config. I'm using the same AMI ID, and then you can see instance type is T2 micro, and then key name is Terraform demo. Now, if you see that all the way in the down, you'll see that an, uh, this is the actual code which will create an EC2 instance. But for creating this EC2 instance, you need some additional information, such as like, what is the VPC ID, what is the security group, etc, etc. So I put everything into this. Now I'm going to um, format this. Okay, that's good, uh, interesting things to know it. So when you do the Terraform format, you'll see this, this is all formatted very clean. The command is Terraform, FMT, and the file name. See, it's all cleanly formatted and I have AMID and you know, a bunch of information. I do have tags. I'll show you once the EC2 instance is created, where does this information are get populated. Let's go back here. So now we are going to do the apply, Terraform apply. Okay, so enter a value. So this will ask you to enter the value that's kind of in a confirmation you're saying that you're going to do these things. You need to enter yes, Y E S. Once you enter that, this is actually create, start creating all those informations. Like, you know, you're creating VPCs, subnets, security groups, and finally the EC2 instance. So now, as I more keep refreshing the pages, you'll see that new security group is created right, right now. And now if you see that the web app W app is creating it. Let's refresh the page on the dashboard. You see that instance is spinning up. And you see, okay, you can see all the tags we gave it, which will be added to that ECN instance. Instance ID, T2 micro, and then, um, yeah, there's the public IP because I said that you know, enable the public IP is true. And you'll see the security group here. And these are the ports we opened it. These are inbound ports, like you know, I meant that 8080 and outboard, outbound is for all. So I didn't specifically do any restrictions with the IP address. Uh, for inbound so but you know, I would recommend you know when you do it if you want you can specifically restrict it to your IP address at least you should do it for SSH otherwise you know anybody can SSH into your machines just not a good security so I have a bunch of outputs here too so once I verified everything so now I'm going to clean up my account pretty soon. 
what does that mean is like you know I have like a you know, couple of security groups EC2 instances created if I want to destroy like you know if I want to remove everything I created right now using the terraform template I can remove all those things in one command I'll show that in a second right before that let me just you know revise one more time so I have like a you know, security groups easy uh, one key page this manually created but I have an easy to instance I did it let's go back and I'm going back to the chat folder chat for folder so I do have a terraform tf state files will be here and then I'm going to say terraform destroy so one command to spin up all the infrastructure and one command to destroy everything. Okay, so this will say that, you know, if you see that plan zero to add, zero to change and four to destroy. See that? Okay, so which means that in you know, the four things are going to be destroyed. Okay, given a confirmation, yes. Let's go back to this. Refresh this page you'll see that it's term it is shutting down and then finally it will get terminated the ec2 instance from your record so this will include all the things you created by using the terraform template that will get destroyed which means that you know eventually the security groups will goes off so right now it's destroying the ec2 instance once the ec2 instance is destroyed it will start spinning it will just try to remove the secure okay yeah look at that four resources later so now if I refer this back you see the security group is just one it was it bring back to the all stage and the instance is terminated that's all for now and thanks for watching please put any comments you have it